everyone, welcome back to ECS Coffee. My name is Rebecca and today we will be doing an unboxing and setup video for the new Barista Touch Impress. This machine has been out for a couple of weeks now and you may have it at home or you may be thinking about purchasing it, so let's set it up together. Let's see what is in our box. Breville always sends you some super awesome uh, accessories and like helpful tools to make your espresso a little bit better. This box is a little high, but I'm gonna pull everything out so you can see it. You're of course going to have your user manual, so this will give you, you know, simple instructions on how to set up the machine. Breville also always provides you with a nice uh, quick start guide, so that's gonna be in this box as well. Breville machines are always so easy to set up, which is fantastic. Uh, so manual, make sure you read it. It'll have instructions for all of your cleaning cycles and all of that fun stuff as well. You of course get your razor. So the Brisa Touch Impress does have the handle for tamping, the integrated tamper, but that doesn't mean that you won't be overdosing your espresso sometimes. So the razor tool will still be there to assist you with cutting off that excess coffee grinds after you've tamped your espresso to get your perfect shot. So that's there. Let's just uh, pull that out along with, uh, oh, this isn't my razor. This is my uh, baskets. It'd be helpful if I read the boxes. Oopsies. All right, let me pull this out. I'm gonna rip this box. Okay, so baskets. You get four different baskets with this machine. You get two single baskets and two double shot baskets. So the single baskets are going to come in both dual wall or pressurized and unpressurized. And you will need to know which ones you're using when you're setting up this machine. Um, and when we set up this machine, I'll show you why and explain that. The machine will also explain it because it's super um, easy. You've also got your unpressurized double shot. And for some reason I have my pressurized, it looks like in my basket, which is a little backwards, I think. Dual wall pressurized for my double basket as well. So four baskets. Uh, make sure you know which one you're using for when you're setting up your machine because it is dependent on what kind of beans you're using. The machine will tell you though when you're setting it up and explain that to you. You've got your water filter. So this machine will take the Claro Swiss water filter and just the little holder that sits in the water reservoir for your filter. Fantastic. Let's see what else we've got in here. What other goodies? Oh, starter descaler. So for your first descale, you're covered, fantastic. All right, I'm gonna take this machine off of the counter and pull it out of the box, all of, out of the uh, styrofoam and get it up and then we will set up the machine together. Okay, so if you've got your machine out of the box, you've got it just in the cardboard, on the side, you're going to have your steaming jug. So make sure you pull that out. You don't wanna lose that or accidentally throw it out stainless steel jug for steaming your milk. Now I'm gonna flip the machine over onto one side that doesn't have the, yes, impress system. Flip it over onto this side. All right. Styrofoam. Our hopper is going to sit just on the outside of the machine. The bean hopper will not come attached. It looks like I'm going to have to take the machine out before I can get my hopper out, which is fine. So let's this. You might need to have a friend do this with you. Mm, it smells like plastic. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? <laughs> okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, fantastic. All right, so bean hopper comes out. It's just sitting there on the side. Fantastic. Take off our plastic. Oof. There we go. Oh, and take off all my little tapes too. Amazing. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna remove all of the tape. I'm gonna give the water tank a rinse and uh, wipe out and then insert my, uh, get all the styrofoam off of my bean hopper, set that up and then uh, we'll start setting up the machine. This is the most satisfying part, peeling off this. So nice. All right, let me go rinse my water tank out and then uh, get going. Okay, so let's go. Assembly. I'm gonna read you guys a story here. I'm just kidding. Um, so we normally don't use water filters here in most of our machines, just because we use filtered water, we descale them regularly. Uh, but for the purposes of this video, we're going to install the water filter and show you guys what to do. It's just like using a, uh, a, a Brita filter, it, you need to soak the filter and then you're gonna put it into the machine uh, and you'll need to replace it every three months or so. That depends on your water hardness. So if you're using filtered water and the water filter every three months is good. Uh, so I'm going to unpackage my water filter and then I'm also going to let it soak in some cold water for about five minutes and then I'll be able to install it into the machine. So I've got my water filter here. I'm just going to remove it. And then I'm going to take it over to the sink and um, let it soak in some water for about five minutes and then we'll be back. So um, while our filter is soaking, let's also have a look at some of the other accessories that you get with this machine. Uh, so when you pull out this machine, you're gonna be like, where are the other filters and accessories that the manual said it came with? They are underneath your ooh, drip tray, just in your little tool storage box. All of the Breville machines have this little box under and behind the drip tray. So it's where you would store your, you can store your excess bath, your extra baskets in there, your, any of your cleaning supplies you can store in there. I wouldn't store like your descaling solution in there in case it gets um, damaged from the water because there will be water sometimes that goes in and under behind the drip tray and ends up into that little tray. So keeping your like uh, cleaning, gasket in there is good. Ke keeping your razor in there is good. Then I know you also get a new cleaning accessory with this one too, which is this. So this little brush is meant to go up your grinding chute here and clean it out if you've got any clogging. It's not like overly stiff, like it's kind of mobile, but I would also like to use this to clean out my group head here to get in that little groove and clear that out because that can get pretty clogged up with uh, some grinds and oils and stuff like that. Love this. So we'll stick that back into our little box. What else? What other goodies do we have in here? It's like Christmas morning. Okay, we've got ooh, uh, back flushing or cleaning tabs. So these are going to be used when you need to perform a flush or cleaning cycle few different names that this goes by, one of them being cleaning, flush, back flush, okay? So little tabs, they go into the porta filter. you'll enter into the cleaning mode there. This one um, performs, it's around the same time you need to descale. So I'm not going to put that into my little tray, I'm going to keep that separate. To clean your steaming wand, so if you, you know, get gross steaming wand, you can clean this, it's great. Take off the top with it. Fantastic. Water test strip. So when you're setting up your machine, it's going to request that you test your water hardness. That'll go into how often the machine prompts you to descale. So if you've got like insanely hard water, you're going to be descaling way more often than somebody that has soft water or is using um, like filtered water. So whatever water you'll be using in your machine, test that. So don't test your tap water if you're going to be filtering it, test the filtered water. So water filter, te water test strip, which is great. This is the gasket that I mentioned for back flushing or flushing or cleaning the machine. So this will sit in your porta filter. I'm just putting a random basket in here. They're so nice and tight. My goodness gracious. Let me grab my double shot. All right, and then I would put my gasket in. I'd put that little pill on top and then I'd run through my cycle. It's really awesome. Um, easy to use. And then there's our razor. Okay, so this is that trimming tool I was talking about. 
I'm going to just demonstrate it a little bit here. I think we used it in our review of this machine. So if you haven't checked out that video yet, make sure you go check it out because we do give you um, some great tips on how to use the machine. And of course we use the machine, review it, all of that fun stuff. So razor would go on the, on the uh, portafilter after you've tamped and then you just scrape. It's really easy, dump over the excess. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, let me uh, put some of this stuff into my basket. Fun. So for us here, and for most likely you at home as well, if you are using freshly roasted coffee beans, you're going to want to use your unpressurized basket that I was talking about, rather than the pressurized or dual wall. Um, so the unpressurized baskets are best used with freshly roasted coffee, which we obviously use here because we roast our own coffee. It would be pretty silly to not. Um, and if you're at home and you're using this machine, we definitely recommend getting freshly roasted coffee. It just makes your coffee experience so much better. Um, so I have put the unpressurized basket into my portafilter to set it up. I'm going to put my bean hopper on attach this back as well. And then I think that my filter should be just about done sitting in the water and be ready for installation. So I'm gonna just attach all of this stuff. I'm gonna go grab my, my water filter and uh, get to going on the machine. Um, all right, so opening back up my manual, now that I have had my filter soaked, we are good to uh, install that. So let's have a look here on what we should be doing next. I do. I know what I'm supposed to be doing, but I am doing exactly what you should be doing. So you should be following me exactly. All right. Um, okay, so I'm gonna install my filter into my filter holder. So super simple. You've got some little arrows on the side here. So I'm gonna pull those down. I say, oh, it's super simple. Oh, okay. I'm gonna press them in and pull them down. There we go. Comes right out. Easy peasy. You've got a little, is that a hexagon? It's some sort of shape. Um, geometry was never really my strong suit. And I'll set that in here somehow. There we go. Great. Stick that back on. Fantastic. And then this goes into the water tank. So this little black or gray bit in the center there that has the like metal mesh filter in it this is where it's going to sit. So if you're not using the water filter for whatever reason, we do recommend using it if you can. What is happening? Go in, go in, go in. Um, the little mesh filter will catch like all of the other bits and stuff that kind of ends up in the water tank. So uh, dust or coffee grinds for whatever reason, it, the mesh filter will catch those, which is why it's there. Just a little tidbit of information. I'm gonna fill this water tank while it's out and I've got water dripping all over the counter. So we're using filtered water here along with the water filter. Like I mentioned, we normally don't use a water filter in our demo machines here at the store. We just will use the, the filtered water. All right, so water tank is in, fantastic. Great, back to my manual. I think we're just ready to go now. Fill the water tank, attach the hopper. Good, good. Got the drip tray in, fantastic. Beautiful, okay. I'm going to plug in my machine now and then I'm going to uh, turn it on and we'll get set up. So I have um, now plugged in my machine and so I'm gonna fill up my bean hopper. I was just asking Jack if I should use a different kind of bean because I always use Colombian espresso but it's my favorite. So I'm going to use it again. <laughs> so this was freshly roasted. Um, about four days ago, which is perfect. So it's right in that optimal time range. You definitely don't wanna be using freshly roasted beans that were roasted the same day or the day after because there's way too much CO2 in those beans. And it's just not, it's, one, it's not gonna taste good. And two, it's not gonna be true to how that bag is going to brew like a week later. So using it like three to four 
four days preferably after your roasted date. Um, up to like the three week or four week mark for freshly roasted beans is super optimal. Uh, of course, if you go beyond that, it's just gonna get a little bit staler, but it's still gonna be flavorful. But keeping it within that, that range is perfect. So this is a, a little bit of a larger hopper than other Breville machines. So this one actually holds 340 grams, which is this full bag amazing but I'm not gonna fill it up all the way and now we're gonna power this machine on there we go that's the noise you want perfect so this one has the thermojet heating system so it is a version of a thermoblock heater so it's very very fast heats up like in three seconds you have a couple different languages to choose from. So we speak English here, so we're going to click English, but you also have French and Spanish um, to select from, at least on the machines that are we're getting in Canada. So select that. And we are going to do it in Celsius because again, we are in Canada. And the default milk, I am an oat milk drinker if I drink anything, but most people here drink dairy, so I'm gonna select dairy. Okay, and I'm going to, what time is it, Jack? 11.05, roughly. Okay. Five, there we go. And the date today is May 30th, right? Yep. 2023, fantastic. And now it just says, welcome to Cafe Quality at Home. So if you don't know anything about this machine, it has what's called barista guidance. I'm not gonna go crazy, crazy too much into it, but you do see it in action during our review. So you can watch that and you will also be utilizing it when setting up the machine. So it tells me to follow the next steps to set up your barista touch impress. So let's start. And now the machine's just going to basically walk me through what we already did. So wash and install the parts, prime the machine, accessories checklist, all of that fun stuff. I didn't say them in that order for whatever reason. Tug shows you on the screen a picture of everything that you get. That's so cool, it's so smart, I love that. Okay, remove the water filter, we already did this, so we're a little bit ahead of the game. Um, fantastic, install the bean hopper, done that. Accessory storage, done that. Beautiful, we did this, beautiful. Set it in, fill the tank, and let's test our water hardness. Again, not something that we typically do here because we do use filtered water, so we normally set it to be one of the lower settings. Um, so, but I am gonna test it today. So you'll have your little strip. You're going to have five green sections, and I'm just going to test now. Dip it in a glass of water for one second. I'm just gonna actually dip it into my water tank. Okay, and now I'm gonna wait one minute for the result. Looks like we are the, the first option. We're kind of between the first and second, but I'm gonna be an optimist and just select the first one, the second one. We're between the second and third, sorry. Soft water, low mineral content, that's because we are using filtered water, which is great. Okay. So it tells me the system is going to prime now. So I'm going to place my milk frothing jug underneath my groove head and making sure that the drip tray is empty, meaning that there's no water in there because the water, it will fill up. Not your, your accessories tray can still stay there. Okay, and now I'm going to press start and it's going to put out some water from the water spout, which is just behind the group head there. You can see it coming out now. Priming the group head. It's great that this machine does this automatically. There are some machines where you need to kind of run this process through yourself. Um, it's, yeah, it's great. Coming out of the uh, steam wand now, priming the steam wand, going right into the drip tray. Great. 
successfully set up my, sh my machine, so let's brew some coffee. It's my favorite part. Okay. Says, get to know your barista touch and press. You'll need fresh whole beans and 10 minutes. So we're gonna get going, let's do this. Tells you what everything on the machine is. What we'll need, freshly roasted beans, a clean cup of coffee, a clean cloth. Milk is optional. Um, I'm not gonna steam any milk today, but if you wanna see how powerful this is, again, we did that, that long review of this machine. Let me go grab an actual mug because for the hundredth time of me doing a video, I do not have a mug with me. Okay, so drink selection. We're going to navigate by swiping left or right on our drink menu and select the icon of coffee that we wanna make. I'm going to do Americano because that's what I drink. So I'm going to scroll through. You can see all the beverages we have here. Espresso, latte, flat white, cappuccino, Americano. I'm going to select that. I'm going to place my mug under the water spout because it's going to preheat my mug for me. So cute. And I'm going to tap onto the water button just to give a little bit of water into my mug and then tap it again just to stop. I just want a little bit and then I can swirl it around to heat the mug. I'm going to press continue. Coffee beans. So, like I previously mentioned, you are going to need to know what kind of beans you're using when setting up your machine because it will determine what basket you need. And this is where. So, tell us the type of beans you're using to ensure you get the best result for your coffee. We are using freshly roasted coffee with the roasted date, roasted within 30 days. If you're using anything else or you're unsure, you're going to select the second option. We're going to select the first. So, if your beans have a best before, or they just don't, for whatever reason, have any kind of date on them, select the second option. We're selecting the first. This means we get to use the single wall baskets or the unpressurized baskets. If you were using the other option, you would need to use the pressurized or the dual wall baskets. Okay. I know we have the right basket in there. This machine likes you to set your grind size to start at 15. I'm unsure where we are i'm pretty sure the machine comes out of the box at 15 but you know while you're kind of like setting it up you might move the dial a little bit so we're gonna just see where we're at and go from there we are at 16 which is totally fine so i am going to start grinding i'm going to tap my portafilter and the machine is going to grind at grind size 16 for yeah making sure i'm on the double so if you're using the single basket, yours is going to, your icon should look more like a funnel. Boop. And I'm using the double, so mine looks more like a rectangle. Click that. And now it's going to grind for me. So what we're doing right now is calibrating the machine. This machine has, like I mentioned before, uh, what's called barista guidance. So once we calibrate during this kind of setup, the machine is going to know going forward how our espresso should be pouring and where all of our dose levels and grind sizes should be kind of at. If you change your bean, like a drastic change, so, or really any change, but say I was doing my Colombian and I switched over to my Great Scott through Robusta Blend, I'm gonna go through this process again and you can access that in your machine's menu. I've not got enough coffee. It's telling me I need more, so I'm gonna click it again. Click it again. We might do this a number of times until we get the right level. Totally normal. You're not over tamping the grind, so don't worry. So that means we're at the right tamp level. Uh, we've got a check mark and our line is green instead of red. So fantastic. I'm gonna click my arrow to go to the next step. Take this out. That's beautiful. I'm gonna stick this up into my group head. It's a little bit tight, new machine, new gasket. 
ready to brew. So now I'm going to tap the image to start going. And now it's going to use the intelligent brew system with barista guidance to tell us whether or not our espresso shot is good. So it should know to pour about a two ounce espresso in about 30 seconds of time. So that range kind of varies, it depends on your taste. But this is looking pretty good. I, <laughs> I think we're getting like a perfect shot right out of the gate, which is amazing. Beautiful, look at that crema. And we got a smiley face, I agree with it. Looks delicious. Smells very good. Look at that, beautiful. Nice, okay. Give it a swirl. I like to swirl my crema in. All right, so if you, this worked for us right now, it might not work immediately for you at home. The machine will tell you. If your espresso is pouring at 17 seconds, it's going to give you I don't think it gives you a sad face, though that would have been kind of fun, but it won't tell you that you're brewing good. It'll tell you how to make the adjustment. Um, so you would just follow what the machine is telling you to do and, and go from there. And it's going to basically tell you exactly how to fix your espresso. It's going to tell you how to dial in your espresso and how to make those adjustments that a barista would do in a cafe, okay? Um, <clears throat> empty my porta filter and wipe it clean. I'm gonna just leave mine in just because I don't have a cloth with me. And just make sure that my mug is underneath my hot water spout. Great. I'm gonna go medium. And I'm going to tap my mug and now it's going to spit out some water from that same water spout that we had before when it was priming the machine. You can also stop it, I think, at any point just by clicking the, uh, the cup here. So maybe we'll test that when I think it's uh, enough coffee or enough water. It's a pretty good size for me, so I'm going to, let's see. Is it gonna, yeah, stopped. Fantastic, nice. Now I have an Americano and I have successfully set up my machine. So uh, this is too hot for me to drink, but it smells amazing. I love it. I'm gonna have a drink anyways. Mm. Perfect, fantastic. So that is setting up the Barista Touch Impress. Super simple, the machine walks you through everything step by step. It's, um, yeah, it's amazing. We really like this machine. We're super excited that they've launched it. I am excited to hear your feedback on it as well about if you purchased the machine, if it's coming in, have you been using it? Are you looking at purchasing it? Yeah, anything. We just, we would love to hear your feedback. So thanks again for tuning in with us guys and uh, make sure that you subscribe to our channel if you like our content. We would love to have you subscribe to us. We know that um, you are coffee lovers if you're tuning into our videos and so subscribe to us. Hit that notification button as well to be notified when we upload any kind of new content and follow us on all of our social media channels. We're always uploading some really awesome and informative stuff. We've got a blog as well. If you haven't checked that out, it's on our website. Thanks guys.